Good evening, YouTube. What the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage back with some more Alariel, the Ever Queen action here. Um, we've got our second army. Uh, but we've got a tough situation here where we're going to have to take back one of the gate settlements, which are heavily defended. It's going to be our only way to get through, but yeah, all the gates are heavily defended. Alariel's army is tough, but infantry wise, it's rather lacking rather lacking. We do have access to dragons now, which could change things just a bit. If we got a second army here, let's get rid of these tree kin. Actually, I don't even know if we need to get rid of the tree kin. Oh, we're heading that way to get rid of Chaos, and then we had just beaten off Chaos at the Phoenix Gate as well. Um, I did cinematic battles last time. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to just try this. Uh, fight this battles live again, uh, live while I'm recording, right? And I'll just try and do better at getting some cinematic views and see what y'all think. And you can give me some feedback on comes to the last episode My versus this one. I've reinstalled the game since last time too, so some of this advisor crap needs to be turned off and I need to probably fix my camera settings so let's options game settings advisor minimal tooltip expand mode okay let's do we're all set to fastest here and all this stuff Okay, good. Yeah, I've been having some crashes in my Ungram campaign, which is weird. It doesn't happen in every campaign, but it's been happening in this one. Uh, I was pretty sure we already fought this to defend the Shrine of Cain, so I must not have saved my game. Let's see what happens if I auto resolve this real quick, because I don't want to fight it again since we've already played it. Gave me the victory, so that's good enough. There's the White Tower. Get sieged. Setting up garrison. Move up on Chaos over here. Chosen of Isha. Chosen of Isha. Okay. Radiant. I wonder what my chances are of actually breaking through one of the gates. I mean, they've got a pretty strong defense. Infantry wise, I can't hope to defeat that infantry, but our archers might be able to cut their way through it. Ever Queen of Althwan. Let's see what happens. I might try it. Alariel the Radiant. I'm not sure if they'll be able to defend it. Take advantage of the wine trading resource. It's in a turn. Welcome in my court. See what Tyrion wants here. So, Mr. Tyrion, what do you want, sir? Military access. Eh. Don't really need your military access. I want to confederate though, so that we can have an army with Tyrion. Those who speak the truth. Probably gonna be hard to get them to confederate here. though. Defensive alliance. I think we already agreed to this last time. What matters do you wish to lay before the Ever Queen? Illyrian. Trade agreement, yes. Okay, they've moved to reinforce the gate, so I'll move to a different gate. They can't reinforce all of them. And if they come through the gate, then I'll turn and we'll face them. One way or the other, if I can catch them on this side of the gate, it just is better for me. But I don't want to fight them where they have their gate reinforcements and their own army. The Ever Queen. So I will move toward Jenny. the other gate, and I'll let Illyrian threaten that one still. Speak. I will do my duty for the king. No mercy. Do I get the reinforcements if I attack Chaos here? You refer. Sure do. Their deaths are necessary. Indeed, they are. Ludred, you are about to get turned into a pincushion, my ugly chaos friend. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't see this ending well for them. They do have the one Hell Cannon, but they're going to be at a massive range disadvantage. For duty! Archers! I'm gonna try, I know this will make it easy for the Hell Cannon to score some hits, but I'm gonna get into a fairly tight formation here. I need to go in and set some of the game settings, default run, do not want default skirmish mode or guard mode, groups to be locked. Um, back, resume battle. There we go. Brave and true. Noble. Let's move up. Bring these guys under fire. We got the channeling spire. I don't know if it'll do us any good based on the armies we got here though. Without fail. Love and sea guard. Understood. Alright, we've got so much sea guard coming in. Weapons ready. All right, open fire on these chaos spawn real quick. There comes the hell cannon, and when it hits, it's gonna yeah, like half that unit just died. Loyal, advance at once. We go apace. Forward. Let's cut off these guys over there. Archers. Gonna rain all kinds of pain down on chaos here. Alright, we intercepted all these groups. What we're gonna do is kind of fall back and prepare to start firing after these guys win that infantry fight inevitably. And we'll bring in the more potent reinforcements here. And these Lothern Sea Guard will be able to hold their own in a melee. These guys up. Yes, as you say. All right, let's get the sisters of Avalorn engaged here. I'm gonna kind of start splitting these archers up. As you say. Oh, that hell cannon. I'm gonna keep moving up with the Lothern Sea Guard. Lothern Sea Guard. For duty. Lothern Sea Guard. And basically, I'm just gonna split chaos so many different ways that they won't really be able to succeed here. Lothern Sea Guard. Asa, advance. Take these Reavers over here. I go then. Moving out! Wielder of the winds! Let's Moving out! Take out the enemy lord here. Crush them! Then that should crush their Archers. will to survive. We will obey! We will obey! Battle calls! Yeah, the enemy uh, sorcerer is gonna get wrecked. Let's get you all close up. You can see my Lothern Sea Guard here. Duking it out against these puppets of chaos. Their death sorcerer being hunted down by the sisters of Avalorn. The sisters care not for his chaos filth. See all the archers over there doing their thing. Yeah, this this fight's over. Look at the Lothern Sea Guard here, point blank range from behind. I think the sisters just nuked the Lord. Treekin finally arrive. My Reavers have taken out the Hell Cannon. Puppets of Chaos. Gone. So there you go. You all get some nice cinematic views while you actually get to see me fight the battle too. See Chaos routed from the battlefield. Good stuff. So the Puppets of Chaos relatively easily defeated here. Didn't have to try all that hard to save my units. 
Should be able to push on through, destroy what's left of these guys on the next turn. The SR2 no victory. Alright, Ludred. Easily defeated. Let's end our turn. Oh, I can't wait to get some sword masters so I don't have weak infantry. We can combine crazy awesome sisters of Avalorn with sword masters of Hoeth and Phoenix Guard, and it's gonna get real, folks. Gonna get real hard for my enemies to succeed, that is. Let's see what uh, Tiranok does here. Yes, okay, that works too. They came through the gate, so we'll go fight them. This guy's coming back for seconds. Apparently they didn't get enough the first time. Defender of Ulthron, it's uh, increasing here. People are starting to have more and more trust in the ability of the Queen, and they should have always trusted. Come on, people, where's your trust? Trust your triumphant. Queen. Faithful servant. Let's head back up this way. In fact, we can force Marching march in. Out, setting up garrison. And let's rank up our prince. Okay. Alariel the Ever Queen. We should be able to cut these guys off from the gate now. Those white lions, this is not a weak army. It's, it's definitely not a weak army. Because their white lions are gonna have a substantial substantial uh, infantry advantage. But that's okay. I'm gonna move down here and block these guys off from going through their gate, see if we can get them to attack me and see if we can gain a victory. There we go. Let's upgrade those settlements. See if there's anything else for us to build. There is here in Avalorn we can... Oh, ho, ho, yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we will. All right. Glory to the king. Believe, well, no, it hasn't put an end to the puppets of chaos just yet because they have this army up north of the Phoenix Gate. Ooh, we're gonna get my ally to reinforce me here. So now this actually turns into a spectacular battle opportunity for us to destroy Tiranok. And this will open the opportunity for us to retake some of the gates and work our way to the outer ring of both one. I'd like to get over there. There's a gold mine that I'd like to get a hold of. Really boost our income up to stupid levels so that we have sword masters, sisters of Avalorn, and dragons that make up our armies. Start our battle deployment. We're going to be coming in as reinforcements. Here's the army of Tiranok way over here. And the armies of Illyrian. Understood. We got a Lariel and the Handmaiden will try and rush this way. There's only one crossing point here and they control it. It's alright though. Alright, let's get you all some close-ups here since I don't have to control all of this and my forces have to make their way across the map. Oops, speaking of map, we went through it. Here's the uh, forces of Tiranok. Already got some uh, shadow warriors firing at us. Man, the elven units in these maps just look absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here comes all the spearmen of Illyrian. They actually, I expect these guys to get beaten pretty soundly by this army here. I'm gonna bring my handmaiden up, take her off fire at will, 
And I'm gonna start trying to take out some key units. Let's stay out of certain enemy range. Looks like we're within certain enemies' range. That eagle dropped its way down into battle. Where's the enemy lord? Over here. There's a princess. Okay, handmaiden. Let's just target the eagle for now. Spearmen in group one, uh, we're just going to get them up here to reinforce this point so that if, I say if, when the white lions break through, there'll be another line of infantry waiting on them. But I do expect the white lions will make their way through. Let's get the sisters and let's defeat these uh, Lothern Sea Guard that are across the way here. Lothern Sea Guard are taking some pot shots at me right now. It shall be. The winds rise. Get you all some views of this. So firing across the river. Should light up these Lothern Sea Guard pretty well. They don't have shields, so they will die. Or yeah, they do have shields. They're still going to die in a pretty extreme hurry. But Lothern Sea Guard are definitely, in general, going to be a tankier skirmish unit Setting for for off one for order Orifan Spearman Let's Bring up the reinforcements March. Without fail we will obey I'm going to throw all my for spearmen duty. in because otherwise they're just going to get shot up back here Loving Seagull Let's throw my tree kin up into this fight let's go Seven do some support with Alario I think the Handmaiden has skirmished fairly well. Group 3. So we've taken out uh, those Sea Guard. Let's move forward. There's more. Bring up the sisters here. We're going to keep targeting down some of these Lothern Sea Guard with shields. And we'll just try and get the infantry fight to slog out. But what we'll do is drop a banishment right here. This could definitely backfire on me. But it's a chance I'm willing to take here. Actually worked pretty well. Alario picked up 82 very quick kills. Yeah, that cleaned up a lot of the infantry there. It's going to pave the way for our our battle lines to break through. So the white lions won't be able to hold out for too much longer. Let's put some fire down on these uh, shadow warriors here. The sisters of Avalorn destroy them. Definitely had the superior skirmish and numbers here. And even though the enemy held the choke point, they weren't able to capitalize on it. They got overrun. Alariel providing some very timely support there. Worked out rather nicely, actually. So Shakara is going to be soundly defeated. Light in the darkness. So it's definitely a mistake for them to move through the gates. Ah, they went on to defeat that same army. I'm not really sure how so many of them survived that battle after having been slaughtered. They must have routed en masse and then been able to have enough left. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. I don't know. Okay, my ally won. Never mind. Alariel the Ever Queen. Yeah, let's take Alariel. Waiting to put her on our Great Eagle. So I'm just gonna keep working on all this different magic. 
We can finish up Vaz Protection. And then the Handmaiden. Decided I didn't want to put her on the bar to the Theomar Steed right now. At least not, like I said, not right now at least. Dawn's hope. Treading softly. Okay. Go ahead and replenish there. Prince of Alphwa. I will see to it. On a call. Prince of Oath One. Oops. Let's get some uh, moon dragons here. Oh, I got a plenty of money. So let's just go ahead and tank up on moon dragons. I don't have like tons and tons of money right now, but we got enough. save because we don't have much money left after all that. With an army of sea guard and dragons though we should be able to busy most of the enemy army with dragons and just rain arrows down on them. Should be pretty effective. Unicorn gate has a reinforcing army now. Like I said, even if we can capture one gate, it'll put us in good position. The way fragments were gathered, the ritual cast. Arcane power lit Althuan skies. Lawmaster Telerian, ally of Teglis, was joined by Gallifreus, squire of Tyrion. They would be the prince's eyes, as the goddess Isha revealed her prophecy. The Lawmaster and Squire saw the Isle of the Dead wreathed in fire. The Vortex gone. Without the Vortex, chaos floods the world, with Althuan doomed to sink beneath the waves. But the star crown of Lilith has the power to restore it. The crown was shattered long ago. If the lost shards are reforged, Ulfwan can be saved. Isha has blessed our agents with one piece of the star crown. But four shards remain lost. Talarian suggests invoking the spirits of the Phoenix Kings. For who better than a king to find a crown? The cost is high to cast such rituals. More way fragments are needed. All right. So we complete the first ritual. So let's attack the Eagle Gate the here. To we can encircle it. We wouldn't have time though because it would take so long for him to surrender. This world needs us. Let's see if we can just straight up defeat him. We can't just step up and take the White Lions with our spearmen. So what we're gonna have to do is. Use our Lothern Sea Guard and our Sisters of Avalorn to entirely just wreck. If we can beat the lions from the uh, the ground shooting up onto the walls, then this army won't stand a chance. They'll get overrun. But that's the thing is we've got to defeat those white lions. My power is so I'm going to focus. Loyal. Put the Lothern Sea Guard up front because they're going to have to take some damage. Tank some damage. I should say I'm going to spread out all my archers though. For duty. Probably still get like a gate busting crew together here. 
Awaiting orders. My power is okay. Let's push forward. I want my sisters of Avalorn just out of range. My Lothern Sea Guard are gonna take the brunt of this. Let's go take out that gatehouse. Let my archers start firing. I just need to get just inside of range for the sisters. We're just outside of range right now. Sisters are still not firing. Wow, their gate guard have 180 range as well. Not all of my sisters are firing. Let's push the Lothern Sea Guard up closer. Push the sisters up closer too. All right, let's see if we can get some work done. Do a little bit of healing here. All right, all of my sisters should be in range now. Yep, they're all firing. Just let them do the damage they can do. I'd rather that damage be done to white lions. In fact, that's actually what I'm gonna take my care power of. Is yours. I'm going to start targeting individual units of white lions. Hope it'll work out. Let's go ahead and start bringing our spear groups forward, because if we can... If we can target those lions and take them out of the fight, then honestly this battle swings easily into our favor. Oh yeah, these lions are going to start taking some damage over here. These ones have already taken some pretty heinous damage. Of course, our sisters are taking a lot of damage at the hands of all these units too. Gates open. They actually don't have any infantry here. Let's push through and go kill this uh, noble. Ah, that pulled some of their lions off the wall too. Good. Yeah, we're pulling a lot of their white lions off the wall actually. Let's start targeting some more of their units on the walls. Let's take a couple of units in. Uh, our handmaid needs to get out of there. Alario, back up. Back up, back up. Let's let some of these other units in. Do a little bit of healing here. Once we get some infantry and fodder here, yep, yeah, that's good, that's what we want. Come on, back up, Alario. Okay, we've done a pretty nice damage there. I'm actually gonna swing up here into melee with the Sisters of Avalorn, instead of just sitting back and getting hit by towers. This is going to get a little bit risky here, but I'm going to take the risk because if we can defeat these white lions, yeah, right here, right here, right here. Let's, if this bounces the right direction, we should kill a lot of enemy white lions here. There we go. There, that was actually just about perfect. Did minimal damage to our infantry. Killed a lot of white lions. 
And now we've got overwhelming force. There is one white lion group over here that's still pretty healthy. Let's get up here again. Cast some healing for all our units. Let's get down off the wall so that we can challenge these units from behind. The walls are starting to be overrun. Let's use the Tormentor sword here. Spearman, can I be praised? Orders received. We've got the enemies surrounded here. Looking to be in pretty good shape. As you say, it shall be done. You're in there. Still a pretty thick blob of enemy units here. Just heal up all our units. Should be able to defeat our enemies. Some of their archers are sitting back firing, and we're definitely taking a beating from these uh, eagle claws. Just leave the one group of spearmen up here to fight their archers. Holy cow! What's happening to these guys? Eagle claws. Spearmen, forward! Orders received. Ancestors. The enemy troops here are completely surrounded, but their noble is just not taking any significant damage from my heroes. If we had the Sword of Cain, that would be very different. We don't. I would think their leadership would have to fall apart here at some time. They're massively overmatched. Look at that! Their noble is just owning my handmaiden. Those bolt throwers might be the end of us, too, because I've blobbed up beautifully for them to get kills on. Look at that, 44 kills. Ugh. We're just getting owned. They keep summoning great eagles on me. Yeah, this could sour against us if we can't break our way out of this gatehouse soon, because we are taking obscene losses. 51 kills now, 7. There, they actually did some friendly fire that time. I'm just honestly shocked at how this noble continues to stand and fight here. The eagle should fall apart. I think we've got to be close to breaking our way through here. Let's get the sisters through. Start unblobbing. Great Eagle should break. Oof, Alariel's now getting wrecked on. This noble is absurd. He's beaten down two of my heroes and been in the middle of an infantry blob and survived it all. Oh man, we're gonna take some pretty bad losses here. Okay, guard, sisters, sisters, I need you through the gate, please. Actually gonna run out of ammo back here on one of these fairly quick. My power is yours. All right, my sisters are starting to get put back together here. Let's move up and take out these silver helms. Take the silver helms out. There's not any substantial threat left here, I don't think. Golly, those eagle claws. My sisters are all blobbed up. We've got to move, or else those eagle claws are gonna continue to destroy us. Golly! 61 kills. Let's take out these regrouped white lions. Let's see if we can start to push up over here. 
should be able to get in range of those eagle claws. Golly, the stupid white lions. Just ignore them. They should go away. Come on, kill these guys. Get rid of them real quick. There you go. Come on, get rid of them. Thank you. Now move up. We're gonna get rid of these eagle claw bolt throwers once and for all. <clears throat> Enemy noble finally, finally gave up and died. And now the uh, eagle claw bolt throwers will be silenced. Not soon enough though. They're still not dying very quickly. Even to the fire of sisters here. Wow, the Silver Helms are fighting on too. I'm not really sure how there's any fight left in the enemy here. I think we're about to get the uh, leadership lost finally. Wow, tough battle. Tough battle. But we were able to overwhelm them. Situation with the White Lions didn't go perfectly, but the banishment and some of the archer fire early. The Eagle Thrower Bolt Thrower, or the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers ended up being my biggest threat there. And they did manage to cause some pretty significant damage. Darkness is kept at bay. From the position they held. But we've captured a gate, and we can now actually move through a gate. Alariel so the can replenish here. And let's see, we got access to six turns. Ooh, takes too long. I think all we lost was a spear unit here, so let's just let's actually replace that spear unit with a Lothern Sea Guard. It's more multi-purpose. It's very similar. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this episode. When we get back next time, we'll uh, be able to leverage our holding of this gate here against um, against the uh, forces of Tyrannoc. That gold mine is definitely within our sight. Hopefully, we can get ready to take advantage of it. These guys will be ready to fight here soon, too. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you soon.